Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, happy Thursday. Today, I'm going to be doing pack 8 of the Agora Models release and build the LaFerrari. So if you remember last time, this is where we had got to and we had put the door switches in. Well today, we're actually going to be doing the windscreen and we're also going to be building the doors. So we are uh, working on the outer shell of the vehicle here. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I'll put a link in the video description and there's also a QR code on the screen that you can scan and it will take you straight to the Agora Models website where you can order this for yourself. Now you will notice a lot of the pieces today are actually complete when we're actually doing it. So we don't have to build as much as we normally do for these 1.8 vehicles. As a matter of fact, this vehicle is probably not only one of the most detailed I've built, but it's also one that doesn't really require the amount of work to get that detail, if that makes sense. So it is a good starter build, I think, at the moment. Obviously, we're up to pack eight. There's four more packs to go. Uh, we'll have to see if that continues. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's all going to start in stage 57 and you can see here we've got the massive windscreen. Now the windscreen doesn't actually go into the uh, car until the next stage. So I'm just going to keep that to one side. But we do have some other pieces here which I am going to be using now. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting some hood details onto the chassis. And they are looking slightly different. There is two of these. So this one I want first. This is going to go on the right side of the chassis. And the right side is as we look at it from the back. So it's this side here. And this is going to be going on this way, just onto this piece, just there like that. And it's held in with an H screw. Now remember, all the screws from this build come right at the very start. So we won't get any screws through these stages because we already have them all. So let's get this one in first. Put some oil on this. We are going into metal. And that's in just like that. And on the other side, as you can see here, we've got another one. It's just going to go into this side here like that. Once again, held in with an H screw. That's those two in place. Now, if you have a look at the front, I haven't moved this here. We've got these two holes here. We're going to be putting this section, which we've got in this stage, with the lugs just over those holes there. So let's get this lined up. So it's going to fit in just like that. Now it's going to be held in from the underside with some eye screws. And these are the silver self-tapping screws. And you can see the holes that these are going to go in here. A little bit tricky because the steering rack is going to want to hold that into place. I'm going to use my PH1 screwdriver just to get some extra drive in there. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And when that's in, it should look just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 58 here, we've got the fuel tank cap and a recharging socket. But I don't need these at the moment. I'm just gonna put them to one side. I am gonna need this rear view mirror though. So let's get that open. Now there is a protective film on this side, which I want to keep on at the moment, but I do want to put this rear view mirror into the cavity just here, just like that. So obviously when it's on the car, it's facing towards the rear of the car. Bring over the chassis and you'll probably notice we've got some holes just around the outside, which I'm going to be pushing this windscreen into. And I have to say, it's a pretty amazing fit in there, like that. Now I'm guessing eventually this is all going to be held into place by a screw at the top, but we're not actually putting anything in that yet. Now this is the recharging socket, so let me get this open. This is going to be going into this hole here, so what I want to do is pass this out through the inside, and then just push this into place. We do have a locating lug at the top, so it goes in like that. Then I've got the fuel tank cap here. And that's going to go into this point here. You see we've got some locating lugs. So line them up and just push that into place. Now you can probably see it does kind of sit at an angle there. Excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Yeah. 
Now, big pieces here. You see what I mean about things have already been done for us? We are gonna be working on the right door. So this piece here is plastic. This piece here is metal. And as I said, the details have already been put into the door for us, as you can see here. This is metal. It's gonna aid for the lifting mechanism there. Now, I know you're gonna shout at me if I don't put my part work upgrades mat down. So, <laughs> what I'm gonna do Line this up and I'm going to be putting these two parts together. And quite simply, we're just going to be putting this piece under these two pieces here, just like that. Now they're held together with two B screws. And I just so happen to have them here. So that's one. I think I will use my PH1 screwdriver to get these in. Now we're moving away from the doors, so let's just put that to one side. Now this is a completely random and bizarre stage. Here, we've got the dashboard with the steering wheel here. We are actually gonna be putting the steering shaft in place. This came in stage 52. So I will just take the front end off. This is gonna go through the hole, if you look on the top camera there at the top, all the way through there, like that. And I'm holding it from the back so now I can push the steering wheel onto this. It has got a D-shaped hole. Get that all the way down the shaft. So straighten that up. That is now looking just like that. Bit of a random stage because that's all we're actually doing on that. So I can put that to one side. That's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 60 here, we're still working on the right door. Got a little bit of window glazing there, this little part here, and this bit of trim. So bringing this back up, this is what we worked on in the last page. We're gonna be putting this glazing in place. Really don't wanna take the protection off of it, but I don't think I'm gonna have a choice now. So what I'm gonna do is just lift up the bottom of this so I can get this into place, and I then can keep the protection on that window there, you see? I don't really want to take that off yet. It's going to be held in with two G screws. These are silver screws, which are going into metal. So again, let's line this up and get these in. You don't want to over tighten it. I will use my PH1 screwdriver actually, otherwise you are at risk of cracking that gl glazing there. You don't want to do that. So when you feel resistance, stop. And then just put the one in this side here. And as you can see, look, I've managed to keep that protection on there. I think that's pretty cool because I am still working on this side here. We've got the frame to put on, which is just gonna go over these two pieces here. And this top piece just here. So it sort of frames the window and provides a start of the roof there. Again, held in with G screws. I have put these in oil again. So there's one in that side and I'm just gonna line up the one on this side here and get that into place as well. So now that's in, it's looking just like that. Now this section here, which I didn't know what it was, is actually the right door piston. That's gonna be clipping into this metal hole here from this side. So it's going in from the outside here, just push it in. You want to support it just at the base here so that this doesn't fall out. It does need to go all the way through there. There you go. So it should move freely in there just like that. Excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 61, we're still working on the right door. So I'm just gonna open every part that we get from this stage. And the first thing I'm gonna do is bring over what we've created here. And I've got this detail here, which is gonna go onto the two holes here. Now, one of the holes is just a locating lug, like that. And the other one, I'm gonna be securing an AA screw through here. It's a double A screw. Double A screws are in this bag. And I'll get that nice and tight, just into place there. Excellent. 
I could put this to one side and bring over what came in this pack here. This is, uh, see what I mean? All the detail and painting is done. That looks brilliant. This is all plastic. I'm going to be putting this side door panel into place. Now we've got two locating lugs here for that and a center screw hole. So it's going in this way. We line up these plugs like that. It sort of holds itself in anyway, but we do just want to put a Q screw in that center hole. And here is the bag of Q screws. And I'll get that in nice and tight. You do want to make sure that these pins are all the way down. So that's fitting flush in there like that. And then this inner door card here is going to be going on the outer metal one that we created. So this is going to be going over the top here. You sort of have to slide it up so you can get this piece in like that there. And it's going to be held in with three screws. These are um, G screws, one here, one here, and one just at the top there. And get these in really tight. And there we go. That's looking pretty cool. Now just into this point at the top here, we do have this upper head lining, which is just gonna push into the holes here. So just line them all up and clip them in just like that. So that's the head lining at the top done as well. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 62, this one here, we're still working on this right door. I'll get all of this stuff op opened and out. And I've got this piece of inner trim here in this lovely flocked section just here, which is gonna go into this point here, which again is just to line up and clip in. One and two, push that in. That looks good, doesn't it? Bring my map back up, because I'm gonna be putting this into place. Again, you can see we've got locating lugs on this. We're just gonna be clipping this in. So it's actually gonna go in, probably best to line the one up on this side up here. So it's actually just gonna go in like this. And you can hear that clicking in. Just making sure that that's fully down all the way around. And that looks pretty good. See what I mean? The fit there looking excellent. And then the last bit to put in is just this detail here, which is just going to go into the cavity here and the side just here. So I get this clipped in. Excellent. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> now on this side here, we've got space for a Ferrari emblem. That's in this bag here. It has got some adhesive on the back to take that off. Line this up, oops, and push that into the cavity there, like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Brilliant looking door. Now that door was actually complete because in stage 63, we're gonna be starting the door on the other side. Bring up my map. We're going to be doing exactly the same thing as we did last time. So once again, we've got these two parts, the plastic and the metal piece looking like that. This is just going to be going on this side here. And that's held in with B screws. Again, we're going into metal, make sure they're in nice and tight. And then just to mix things up a bit, you see we've got the space for the emblem. They want us to put the emblem in now on this stage. So again, I've taken the adhesive off, just line this up into the recess there and push that into place so that looks just like that and that's all there is to do in that stage which leaves swiftly onto the final stage of this pack pretty much like we did last time we've got the window here and the inner trim again the mats up here gonna bring over what we just worked on and with the glazing again i'm just going to try and remove it from the inside here so i'm keeping the protection on the outside and they are going into metal so once again a bit of oil on just the tip of the uh, screw there 
And that's both of those in. As you can see, I've managed to keep the plastic on top of the window, just protecting it for the time being, because I am just gonna now put this inner headlining in here. And that's just gonna go into these two positions here and here. Once again, held in with G screws. Once again, I have this piston to put in. And it's gonna go into the bottom hole here from the outside. So I'm just gonna revolve this around until I got it in and it's free to flick around just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So just to give you an idea of how this is gonna look, this door will be going kind of on here like this, I'm guessing, with this bit going down the end. I'm just guessing here. Let's do the same on the other side. I'm guessing that this little cog is going over this metal section here so if i can thread that on like that it's sort of going to locate the doors for us but the doors are going to go on just like that and size wise that's how it's looking so not bad it does go together really well once you realize where things go so uh we are going to be putting a lot of mechanics in these because remember these doors are going to lift up so it's going to be interesting to see how that works but i hope you like what you've seen here if you did you want to get this for yourself once again the link is in the video description and there's also a qr code on the screen but i really hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care